Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this lecture, I will discuss the difference between uh, step index fibers and graded index fibers. These are two kinds of fibers and uh, we will compare these uh, two types of fibers here. But uh, I think it's uh, better to understand what is a step index fiber and uh, what is graded index fiber and uh, the simple concept of their working and construction so that we can uh, easily and quickly understand the difference and the comparison or similarities between these two kinds of fibers quickly. So let uh, before uh, starting the comparison, let me first uh, introduce you with the these two kinds of fibers. So what are step index fiber and uh, what is the structure and how does it look like? So let me show you here. This is a step index fiber. Okay. These two, these are the two types of step index fiber. This is called as the multi-mode step index fiber. And this is called as a single mode step index fiber. Uh, this is called the core of, core of the optical fiber having refractive index N1. Okay. And this is the cladding of the fiber. And it has the refractive index N2, which is, this is the condition. N1 is greater than N2. The refractive index of core is more than the refractive index of cladding okay so the total internal reflection takes place in this um, optical fiber when the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle so the ray propagates inside this since it is a step index fiber because it is why it is called as a step index fiber because if you see that this is the graph between the refractive index profile uh, between the refractive index uh, and the distance as we move away from the this is the axis of the core as we move away from the axis of the core so as you can see in this region the refractive index is n1 which is constant throughout the core okay so you can see here it is here it is n1 from here as you can see these dotted lines in this region it is n1 and in this region these are the cladding area it is n2 which is lesser than n1 so in graph you can also see in this plot that here it is n2 in both of these sides and this n1 is more than n2 n2 is lesser than n1 so this is the refractive index of uh, uh, cladding so it is known as uh, uh, it is known as the step index fiber because at this core cladding interface this is the core cladding interface these two there is a sharp or the abrupt or you can say the step change in the refractive index okay therefore it is called as the step index fiber it is of uh, it is of uh, two types uh, multi mode and uh, single mode here it is single mode mode means uh, how many uh, modes it can um, allow to propagate through it as you can see this is uh, one mode and here is the another mode so these are two modes uh, because of um, large diameter of the core in case of multi-mode step index fiber it can allow many modes but it is not possible in case of uh, single mode step index fiber because of its small diameter so only one mode is allowed and uh, you can see it is also a kind of a step index fiber because here n1 and n2 there is an abrupt change at the core cladding interface at these two points this is cladding this is core okay so it is also a kind of a step index fiber and uh, we will see the difference between these two uh, but uh, first uh, let me tell you what is a greater index fiber then we will quickly cover these points and why it is called as graded index fiber uh, let's see here okay can you see this yes this is a graded index fiber here you can see uh, the there is no abrupt change this is core okay these this is the central part is the core and this is the cladding sorry this is cladding and uh, there is no abrupt change as you can see in this diagram in this plot this is the uh, refractive index why how it varies as we move away from the axis of this core as you can see n2 is constant in this cladding area the refractive index of the cladding is constant but you see the 
uh, area in, in the region of a core you can see that uh, the refractive index is maximum at the axis of this core okay so it is maximum and it decreases parabolically as you move away in in either side uh, from the axis of the core and it becomes constant and these in the cladding region to n2 so n1 is so it is maximum at the refractive index is maximum at the axis of the core i think it's clear here we have used the parabolic uh, refractive index profile because it is used generally in most common cases in optical fibers and but it is not uh, always the case it can also have uh, different values of parabolic uh, refractive index of a uh, refractive index profile like you can see in this orange color if it is if the value of alpha alpha is the uh, profile uh, index okay so it if it is um, alpha is uh, infinity then its shape will would be like uh, that we have seen in case of uh, a step index profile a step index fiber okay there is abrupt change from n1 to n2 but if it is profile is uh, parabolic then you can see in brown color it is its shape is like a parabola and if alpha for alpha equals to one okay it's triangular in shape so these are the cases of different uh, uh, refractive index profiles uh, this is the step index fiber as you can see that the ray moves in zigzag pattern it's not smooth it is not moving smooth it is having reflection at these uh, core cladding interfaces every mode okay so it is moving in zigzag path but it is not the case with the the graded index fibers but in case of graded index you can see you can uh, see either any mode and that it is in orange it is having smooth there is no zigzag path it is very smooth path and in orange in sorry in uh, brown and uh, also the blue but why the path in zig uh, path is zigzag in case of a step index and it is a smooth in case of uh, graded index the reason is let me show you as i have already told you that this is uh, what this is the core of the graded index fiber this is just the core i have not drawn the cladding part so as i told you earlier that the refractive index is maximum and at the core clad uh, at the axis of the core okay uh, okay if it is a parabolic profile then i told you that its refractive index is maximum at the core at the core axis so it means that as we move away from this axis of the core the refractive index decreases in the core so there is a constant total internal reflection at each uh, each level of uh, change in the refractive index these are the lines these are all the infinite lines i have drawn few so if i consider this dotted line this uh, uh, level of refractive index change then above this is lower refractive index and lower this line is uh, lower refractive index so as the move uh, wave uh, as the light ray moves at uh, an angle greater than the critical angle there is total internal reflection so it bends into the same medium and uh, this happens at every stage so it continuously bends towards the axis of the core there is total internal reflection at each stage so it moves continuously towards the axis of the core this way its a path becomes very smooth so i think uh, now you can easily understand uh, the difference between uh, step index fiber and uh, graded index fiber so now let's uh, compare and see the difference between these two very easily so let's see now in case of a step index fiber the sudden or a step change takes place in the runs in the refractive index at the core cladding interface okay i have uh, told you and the refractive index of the core is uniform we have seen it that the refractive index do not change in the core as is not the case in case of um, graded index where it is maximum at the axis of the core the refractive index of the core is non uniform we have seen that it is it may be parabolic or triangular or anything else uh, generally uh, parabolic it is maximum at the core axis and then decreases generally parabolically 
with increasing distance from the core axis we have discussed it earlier the step index fiber the second point the step index fiber is of two types on the basis of modes we have seen this if it allows uh, only one mode to pass through it due to its uh, uh, very small diameter then uh, it would be called a single mode step index fiber and if it has uh, more diameter so it can allow more than one modes more than one ray of light to propagate through it simultaneously so it is called as multi mode step index fiber on the basis of modes only one type of graded index fiber is present that is multi mode graded index fiber but no single mode graded index fiber is present we will discuss the third point the third point says in uh, step index fibers light rays propagate in zigzag manner okay on zigzag path uh, inside the fiber core these rays travel as meridional rays it means that the rays cross the axis of the fiber for each reflection while propagating so it is very important that we have seen that it uh, moves in zigzag path so while traveling in zigzag path let's see here when it travels in zigzag path it uh, crosses the axis of the core every time in each reflection okay it moves it crosses here it crosses so it crosses uh, the axis of the core each time it it has a uh, reflection at the core cladding interface while in case of graded index fibers the light rays propagate as skew rays or helical rays it means that while traveling inside the core these rays do not cross the fiber axis in case of uh, step index fibers the refractive index profile may be defined as this is very important see this nr this is the refractive index how the refractive index changes with the, the increasing distance from the axis of the core r so it is n1 for core if it is less than a is the radius of the core for uh, distances which are less than the radius of the core its refractive index is n1 and as we move away in the into the cladding that is r is distance is more than the radius of the core then it is n2 we have seen it there is an abrupt change from n1 to n2 and for but for this type of uh, fiber the graded index fiber the refractive index profile is defined as this n1 1 minus 2 delta r by a to the power alpha what is alpha alpha is the refractive index profile uh, for parabolic it is taken 2 alpha is 2 for parabolic refractive index uh, to the whole power half that is under root square root it is in case of core means uh, r is less than 0 to a okay at the axis of the core it is 0 0 means the axis of the core a is the radius of the uh, core so inside the core and uh, for r greater than a that is in the cladding region it is defined as n1 1 minus 2 delta to the power half here what is delta it is the relative refractive index defined as n1 minus n2 by n1 here n1 is the refractive index of a, a core and n2 is the refractive index of cladding so this is the delta okay in case of uh, step index fibers the modal dispersion is present which affects signal quality in case of step index fibers but it has very low or zero dispersion as the time taken by each mode to propagate is same as the velocity of each mode is different due to change in refractive index okay uh, you might not have uh, understood it so let me explain it to you as you can see this is uh, a graded index fiber and in graded index fiber the refractive index is maximum at the axis of the core and it decreases parabolically towards the uh, as you move away from the axis of the core so if you can see let's uh, see this uh, uh, brown uh, colored uh, mode of uh, mode as uh, you can see it is moving closer to the axis of the core okay and this blue this is uh, in blue is moving away max maximum time it is away from the axis of the core 
okay so what does this mean since the refractive index is maximum at uh, near the axis of the core so it you can say that refractive index is higher so uh, it is a denser medium okay in denser medium the light ray propagates at slower speed so the wave which is propagating near the axis of the core is slowest okay and this as this is in uh, blue is uh, moving at high speed comparative to this uh, brown colored ray because it is moving this blue one is uh, moving in lower refractive index maximum time in rarer uh, medium maximum time so its speed is high but but it is a compensating effect because uh, the path traveled the path that is has to cover by the uh, brown ray is uh, smaller as compared to the path covered by the blue ray but it is faster so the wave which needs to cover short distance is moving at a lower speed and the wave and the path which is longer is having a ray traveling at faster speed so at the end uh, they reach at the same time so there is less dispersion in uh, at, at the receiving end so it is a compensating effect so this is a very important phenomena which is possible in graded index fiber which is uh, but it is not possible it is not the case in a step index fiber because because there is no uh, such a kind of change in the refractive index in the core in case of a step index it is constant to n1 in uh, the core okay but it changes parabolically or in some other way in the graded index fibers so this is an advantage of a step in uh, graded index fiber over a step index fiber so i think uh, you got the point in the next video we will uh, uh, deal with the other concepts of a step index and fibers and graded index fibers and also other topics related to optical fiber communication friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com. Its link is given in the description of this video. You can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.